Welcome to the Eli and Edith Broad Art Museum at Michigan State University. My name is Stephen Bridges. I'm an associate curator here at the museum. I'm excited to share with you today our newest exhibition that opened Seeds of Resistance. This exhibition is composed of 12 contemporary artists. And they come from all different places around the world. Starting with the idea of the seed, this exhibition looks at issues of biodiversity, environmental sustainability, and the health of our climate and environment. The basic premise of the exhibition is thinking about the ways in which seeds encode both genetic information, but also human cultural values. So when we think about biodiversity loss and the loss of seed varieties in particular, we're also talking about the loss of human cultural knowledge and histories. If we understand that we're connected to seeds and that saving seeds is also, in a sense, saving ourselves. In this gallery, we have a range of different projects. Of course, the focus is on the seed as a form in both literal and metaphorical terms, but also seeds don't exist in a vacuum, right? Seeds are part of a larger ecosystem. And I like to think about this gallery as exactly that, also a kind of ecosystem. When you talk about seeds, of course, you also need to talk about soil. You need to talk about minerals and other nutrients, as well as time. You might also need to think about the threat of pollution on the environment and the ecosystem. And of course, being in this beautiful gallery, we have sunlight and the outside world creeping into this space to also remind us that what happens here in the gallery connects to the outside as well. This exhibition, while again bringing together a range of international and national contemporary artists is also grounded here at MSU and in the mid-Michigan region. Here on these video monitors, we have interviews with MSU faculty talking about their research in relation to the seeds, work by Native American tribes in the region to preserve and save seeds, as well as the cultural knowledge that they hold. One other thing I'm most excited about with this exhibition is thinking about the ways that artists are bringing new ideas and new ways of thinking and knowing around these topics and subject matters. In particular, the materiality becomes very important. Here you have an artist who is creating herbarium specimens. And while this may not look like your typical art making or artistic project, Sam Van Aken in this case is very much a sculptor working with living plants while also preserving important genetic information and therefore also cultural information as well. In this case, we have literal soil created into ingots. So soil, the living healthy soil becoming an artistic material. These clay ceramic mushrooms, mushrooms themselves while not being seeds are a sign of a healthy, vibrant ecosystem. Approximately 50 to 60 different individuals were involved in making these mushrooms and you can see each mushroom has a very distinct personality, not unlike its maker. And this coming together and creating something together is also an important lesson of this exhibition and around these issues in particular. Let's go into the other gallery. One of the key inspirations for this exhibition actually starts here at MSU. And it starts with the figure of William J. Beale. You may know that name if you live here in the region for the botanical garden here at MSU named after him. Beale started a very important experiment, now the longest running experiment in modern history, called the Beale Seed Viability Experiment. And here we have information pulled from university archives as well as their herbarium on campus, which Beale was also very influential in creating, to help ground that conversation here at MSU and in the work of William Beale. Surrounding this more archival uh, and documentary material are photographs by Dornet Doherty looking at the legacy of Beale's project. You have here an image of Svalbard as well as an orchard in upstate New York, a greenhouse in England, an herbarium in St. Petersburg. And what this artist has done is traveled the world documenting different seed banks, vaults, and libraries, places that are storing seeds as a, as a essentially for safekeeping 
uh, for the future, for study, but also with the possibility of restoring habitats that may be under threat, in particular through climate change and other human involvement. And this is directly related to Beale and his early work around the notion of seed viability. How long can a seed remain dormant while still being able to germinate and otherwise repopulate? And here in the last gallery, we have the Palestine Heirloom Seed Library, a project by Vivian Sansour, directly connecting this idea of seeds to stories, really driving in the idea of our interconnected co-evolution with plants over time. While her work has a primary focus on Palestinian territories, farming practices, and ancient heirloom seed varieties, this work extends beyond. And here she also connects it to Michigan in particular. All the wood from the furniture that you see here, as well as in this beautiful display, all comes from Michigan and was made here. The seed varieties that you see are a mixture of those specific to Palestine, as well as here in the Midwest, the prairies and the forests in the land of Michigan. In connecting these two locations, Vivian is very interested in pulling out the different stories connected to the seeds, connected to the practices of harvesting those seeds and of making food from them. In collecting the stories of these seeds, their histories, she's also preserving, again, this knowledge that the seeds hold within them. And of course, the inclusion of different voices and perspectives is very important to us here at the museum. One way that we hope that you will also participate in this is through some of these interactive displays that we've created, including here, index card that we invite people to fill out, to share your own food story, your own seed story uh, with others. Also in the back of the gallery here, the artist presented here, Vivian Sansour, asked a very simple question that I thought was quite poignant. If you were a seed, what kind of seed would you be and why? And as you see here, we've invited people to write their own seed story onto the wall, which of course has been quite popular already, and we hope that you will also participate in when you come to visit us. <laughs>